everybody, my name is Emmett, and this is like the fourth time I've filmed this. So today I'm doing a review for the original Willy Cloth Packer made by Transpacking Universe on Etsy. Uh, full disclosure, I did not pay full price for this. Um, I contacted the guy that uh, owns the shop on Etsy and um, was like, hey, I would like to do a review of this. You know, I don't want anything for free. Um, if you don't want me to do a review, that's fine. You know, like, I would still like one just for, like, me personally. Um, and he was like, yo, just pay shipping. It's cool. Uh, I would love to have a review up. So I was like, okay, great. So it was sort of like baby's first networking, kind of, but not really. Um... That being said, uh, this is going to be a 100% completely honest review. Any review that you see from me is always going to be honest. Whether I pay full price for something, I get something like discounted, I get something for free, which has never happened, but just on the off chance that it does, everything's always going to be honest. So, uh, this is what it looks like. This is the uh, four and a half inch uncut... Um, in tan i believe um and this is you know this is what it looks like so what got me wanting a cloth packer um ever since i've been on testosterone my bottom dysphoria has got a lot worse and recently it's been a really big deal to me to be able to pack like 24 7 like even while i'm sleeping um I do have silicone packers, and I do like my silicone packers, but they are too uncomfortable for me to be able to, like, sleep with. And, you know, it's really hot, and when you get really hot and you sweat, you know, silicone packers can chafe a lot. And that really bothers me. I have some sensory issues. And so I started looking for, like, cloth packers. I found this shop online on Etsy. Um, it was like, that looks really neat. So I got one. So some good things about this are it's really soft, like it's cloth, you know, so it's like it's really soft. The material that this is made out of is really, really soft. It feels really nice against you. Um, it doesn't irritate me at all. It's not like annoying. It doesn't feel weird or anything like that. Um, it did feel a little odd to have like a cloth packer in my pants since I'm so used to silicone, but I got over that really, really quick and it's not an issue at all anymore. Um, I like the way this packs since it is so soft it just kind of you know like lays flat and it's really nice you could pack down with it and the bulge isn't too big it's really discreet you could pack up with it you could pack to the side with it um, I tend to pack sort of up into the side so it sort of sits like this in my pants and um, it doesn't look if you pack it down it looks really good in underwear if you pack it up it doesn't really look great in underwear but when you have it in shorts or pants it looks like fine it's really discreet it looks natural um i like that you can get an uncircumcised or circumcised one this one is the uncircumcised uh, i like that that is an option um i like that it has a strap here um you can use this to pin it to your underwear waistband. Uh, it does come with a safety pin. I just happen to have misplaced mine, um, but it does come with one, which is really nice, so you can uh, pin it. Um, also, it's like a weird little thing, but I really like that it has like the seam here. Uh, I just think that's like a really nice touch for it to have. I like that a lot. Um, and I really think it's great how many options you have with this. Um, this is the original, uh, and it comes in several different sizes uh, and several different skin tones. And then you have, like, the Junior Willy, which comes in several smaller sizes. And then you have, like, the Silly Willy, which comes in even smaller sizes. And then you have, like, a Sport option, um, which comes in, like, different colors, like blue and stuff. Um which is really cool. So that's something really rad. And this is really affordable too. This is only like $15. Um, so it's comparable to like a Mr. Limpy 
or a, like a macho or like a packet or something, you know? Um, so this is very affordable. Um, and it packs really well. This is so comfortable, like, when I use this to pack, like, when I'm sleeping, that I don't know it's there, which is really, really great. Um, I've worn this... I've only had this for a week, but I've worn it, like, pretty much every day and almost every night. So I feel like I can say, like, I've experienced enough with this um, to do a good review. Um, something neat that I didn't think about, you know, this is cloth. So when you have it in your underwear, the cloth of the underwear um, and this sort of have, like, a friction that, like, holds this in place so it doesn't move around a lot, which is really cool. Um, especially if you don't want to wear a harness, you absolutely do not have to with this, which is nice. So while I really, really like this, there are a couple of things that I don't really like about this. And honestly, it's not like anything that would keep me from using it. It's just like little nitpicky things. Um, one thing is sort of because of that friction, like the shaft can sort of like squidge up like this, which can be a little weird. Um, and I mean, like you can like adjust it pretty easily to like lay back flat but if you like sit down and then stand back up like it sort of does this or if you move around like a lot and you're packing down with it it kind of does that um it's not an issue if you're packing to the side or packing up with it but if you do pack down that is a thing that happens that can be kind of weird um another thing is while i think that this strap is great um it is too short in my opinion. Um, if you pin this to your underwear, where this sits is up too high, um, and it can make it look kind of odd. So if the strap was longer and the packer sat like further down, um, it would be really, really great. Um, probably what I'll end up doing is since this is like a loop, I'll probably like cut it here so that way it can like flop up um, which really gets rid of that problem like I said just like nitpicky things um, and it's not something that I don't like but it is something to be aware of obviously this is a cloth packer um, and while I think it looks really good for what it is um, again it is a cloth packer it's not going to look as realistic as like a silicone packer would so keep that in mind if you do decide to get this um but that could also be a really good thing depending on who you are because i know several non-binary people that would like to pack but don't like how realistic most silicone packers are so this could be a really good option if you want something that's phallic but not like super uh like realistic um, this could be a good option. Uh, if you have sensory issues, like if you cannot stand to feel silicone against you, I think this would be a really good option. Um, it really doesn't feel any different than like your underwear, like a tighter pair of underwear against you. Um, so that might be something, um, to look into. Uh, I also think that this would be really, really good for kids because like, there's like really small options and they're like cloth so um they're not uh like super super fragile like some silicone packers can be so i think this would be really really good for trans kids younger trans people um and honestly that's really the only things that sort of bother me about this and again it's like not even like real issues so much as just like little sort of annoying things so if you would like one of these for yourself i am going to leave a link in the description to the trans packing universe etsy shop um you can browse around see if this may be something you'd be interested in um if there is anything you would like me to talk about make a video about, you know, whatever. I'm always open to ideas. It doesn't have to be trans-related. Um, please feel free. If you have any questions about this, please feel free. Leave those in uh, the comments. Um, I'll respond to those. And I will see you guys later.